sure a lot of you clicked on this video because you're wondering why I took myself off the carnivore diet. Well, uh, a couple of reasons, but I'm going to say it as delicately as I can. I was on it for four days solid. Uh, um, since I, I went off, well, yesterday was my first day of keto, so I'm back on keto. So, uh, the bad thing about the carnivore for me, personally, I'm not saying it's bad, but for me it is, because it constipated me. I didn't have a bowel movement the whole four days I was on the carnivore, and when I had one yesterday, I had to use a fleet cinema. Yeah. So, for me, no. I got to have a diet with fiber. I have to have a diet. I do believe I have to have a diet with vegetables. Uh, Keto-friendly vegetables. I was missing my vegetables for that four days. I was so missing vegetables. So, I'm not saying that this, the carnivore is not for some people. Oh, a lot of people are very successful and they love the carnivore diet and that's good for them but no I just I can't do it I won't put my body through it uh, because for one thing in 2015 I had hemorrhoid surgery and that was from years of being constipated and straining yes so no I'm not gonna do anything um, that would cause constipation and that's what's the beauty that is what's beautiful about the ketogenic diet <laughs> no y'all ain't gonna believe this but I'm, I gotta say this because it's just funny it's it to me it's <laughs> it's hilarious okay now when I'm on the keto diet when I'm on the ketogenic diet I usually <laughs> <laughs> okay, I usually have a bowel movement every day, and uh, I am not kidding, I'm not kidding, it's like a foot, foot and a half long, <laughs> and it just, I, it's, it just slides on out, it's, I, let me put it that way, okay, I'm sorry, but it's true, I have not been constipated, um, ever on the keto, keto diet, so, <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I was so relieved when I got rid of all that. Four days, four days of meat in my intestines and in my bowels, and it hurt. I mean, it was like, oh no, mm -mm, this is not gonna work. So anyway, okay, I'll stop talking about my shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I am glad that it kicked my ass right back into the ketogenic diet and I had lost inspiration and motivation to get back into the ketogenic diet. Well, this ketogenic, this, uh, God dang it. Well, this carnivore diet did that for me. Um, I stuck to the carnivore. It was okay. I, I just had problems with my, you know what. But... It gave me the motivation to really get back into the, to the keto. And that I'm very grateful for. So, so I'm keto again. And yeah, I'm going to be successful. I was before. I sabotaged myself. And I beat myself up emotionally over that. And I ain't never doing that to myself again. No. Yeah, there are a lot of benefits. A lot. I'm not seriously. There is a lot of benefits for me on the ketogenic diet. Uh, for one thing, uh, you would think that it would be restrictive, um, but once you once you're on the ketogenic diet, especially for as long as I was on it. And then you go back to it. It's almost like. Uh, 
going back to what you wanted. You know what I mean? Like, when I went off the keto and put a hell of a lot of carbs back in my diet, I felt like shit every day. Physically. Oh, my God. I, my pain was back. My inflammation was back. All that good shit was back because I went off the keto diet. I gained my weight plus some. So, yeah. Uh, that was a real hard lesson that I learned. But we all live and learn, right? Right? That's, that's my philosophy and that's, that's how I live my life. If there's something that I will try, I'm not afraid to try new things. And if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. If it does work for me, then I should stick to it. And I'm going to this time. I promised myself I was not going to do what I did last time. Which is get discouraged. And now, I'm, I've eliminated the, th the one thing that did discourage me last year. After eight months. And that's weighing myself. I'm not going to do it. And even if y'all want to see my weight, I don't care. You don't need to know my weight. I, I, it's just a matter of uh, what's best for me. This is my life. This is my diet. This is my, or uh, not diet. I don't even like diet. I don't like the word diet. This is my lifestyle. So, but I, I, I love to share it. And if people like to watch my videos, uh, welcome to my channel i'm glad i i i have people that are interested in listening to me talk but this is um and and it should be for everybody it's a very personal journey and a lot of people can share whatever journey they go through doesn't mean that person that's watching is gonna jump on your journey it's that's you know you got everybody could be on the same kind of lifestyle diet uh this or that it doesn't matter it's still individual because i'll tell you one of the reasons why it's so personal is because we're all individuals we all have our own set of health issues we all have our own set of values we all have our own uh mental state um so um, we might get uh, guidance from watching other people or listening to other people's stories. I do. I get inspired by a lot of YouTubers that have been through it, done it like like me. I, uh, one of the things I have in common with a lot of people out there is I'm one of those people, one of many, that have gained and lost and gained and lost and went from one diet to another and gained and lost hundreds and hundreds of pounds lost gained lost gained i'm sick of that yo-yo diet crap i'm sick of going up and down it's not good for my health it's it is not so i had to find something that i could stick to for life not just not just a fad, not just a diet for now, but something that I could live with the rest of my life. So, and that's the ketogenic diet. So, I'm happy to be back on it. I am so happy to be back on it. Uh, and I will be sharing some videos of my recipes because uh, I'm a good cook. Uh, I'm not bragging. I'm not bra I'm not trying not to brag. <laughs> but I am a good cook. Well, look at me, okay? I have been eating good for over the, oh, for many years. But, uh, um, I am a good cook, and keto, I have, I've created, or made up, several, several different recipes, uh, quite a few recipes that I call my own, that I've just made up, uh, you know, when my kids were small and I was raising my kids, we were poor. We, we were poor. We never, we never had much money. We were both working class. We both, my husband and I have both worked. Uh, we had three kids. But we lived in Kansas the majority of the years we were raising our kids. And I'll tell you what, even with two jobs, 
it's, it was hard to make ends meet. We struggled a lot. So we wouldn't have a whole lot of money to spend on food. So what I did, I bought a lot of ingredients that I could make a lot of different things out of it. So one thing I am proud to say, my kids and myself and my husband, we never went hungry. No, you, you give me some basic ingredients and I can make just about anything. Might not be the healthiest, you know, because I didn't, back then, I didn't think about carbs or or anything like that. And, uh, but we never went hungry. So, so yeah, I have created a lot of recipes and I look forward to sharing them. But I, but I also know that there are quite a few subscribers to my channel that are subscribers because of my art. And so I'm going to try to balance out the two because I love my art too. And plus I'm on this journey and I want to share it. At least uh, I want to share this part of my journey at least um, like for a year from now, I'll say you know, like next October, I want to see where I'm at. I'm so curious uh, because I started the keto a year ago. I can go back a year. That's when I started the keto. And look at me now. I I have not changed. <laughs> oh, I lost weight. Oh, yeah. I went from 254 which is last, this is last year. And I got down to 214. And I've got proof of that. And uh, and then all hell broke loose. I had my surgeries. I had my heart attack. I went off, you know, all that good shit. And then depression set in. I added carbs back to my diet slowly at first and then big time and processed foods and it, I, it wasn't long before I was addicted to carbs again it is so easy it's just like a drug if you give in to your cravings you are going to mess yourself up so don't don't do that I, I'm telling myself this all the time Cindy don't screw this up you have tried to do this for so many years just quit sabotaging yourself. So I made a promise to myself because I, I've already proved that I am strong enough to do whatever I put my mind to. I am still smoke free. I have not touched a cigarette in four months. I'm proud of myself. Now, I smoked, I've said this before, I smoked for 40, over 43 years and tried throughout all those years to quit. I couldn't do it. I couldn't quit. Well, it's kind of funny. Even though I had a heart attack, I quit two weeks after my heart attack. And then I'm like, Cindy, that's it. What are you doing? You want to die, right? Yeah. So I did a lot of praying. I prayed to God and, and somehow miraculously my, I, I quit that moment. I didn't have no withdrawals and no cravings. Well, guess what? I haven't, it wasn't a temporary thing. I have not had craving. I have not had any withdrawal symptoms since I quit. Isn't that amazing? To me, that's a miracle. So, I, I look at it like this. Not just me, but anybody out there. You put your mind to something. Put your mind to it. Your whole heart and soul. You can do it. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. You just have to have faith. And you got to believe in yourself. And you got to believe you can do it. That's the key. That is it right there. You got to believe in your heart. You can do it. So... I know that this ketogenic diet is, I'm praying anyway, uh, is it. This is my lifestyle now. 
and I'm not going to go off of it anymore. I'm so tired of failing and and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to I'm not going to fail again. I'm not going to put myself through that. Why would I want to put myself through that again? I'm not. I'm not going to do it. So anyway, I just wanted everybody to know that I'm doing great and I'm not sorry that I am not on the carnivore diet anymore. It just wasn't for me. And anybody out there that are carnivore, that's great. I mean, that's for you. That works for you. So I applaud you for sticking to that because I found it very hard personally to stick to it, it was satiating, I, I will say that, but uh, maybe because I love, um, let me, how do I put this? I, I love to eat, of course, but I love the taste of food more than I do the quantity of food. Does that make sense? Uh, I like tasty food, and uh, the carnivore diet is just meat. There's only certain ways you can cook meat. You fry it, you broil it, you boil it, you bake it. I mean, that's it. And at least with the ketogenic diet, I can I can make sauces and um, I mean, there's a lot of th there's a lot of recipes. Oh, uh, I'll have to show you my uh, keto homemade keto enchiladas. Oh. They're so good. I am a Mexican food lover. That is my favorite food. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I guess I've said enough for today. So I'm going to let everybody go. And I appreciate y'all listening to my update and my little story about why I couldn't do the carnivore. <laughs> and so... I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and you guys have a good day, and God bless. Bye-bye.